So I have written some questions over here. Just try them out and then we will discuss. So now let's discuss the solution of these questions. We already know that E2 follows Sage's if rule. Until unless we have a big bulky base. So we will be applying all those concepts what we have learned till now and we will solve these questions. So in the first one, here is the chlorine and this is my beta carbon. So hydrogen will be removed from the anti position. Okay, and the molecule will be like this. Okay, this is my first answer. Now when we talk about this, this is my alpha carbon, this is beta. And this is another beta, it's a symmetric molecule, so hydrogen can be removed from either this side or this side and the molecule form will be this. So this is the compound formed. Now in both of these cases, we don't have anything specific to Sadzeff and Hoffman because uh, we, don't, we can't have the different products over here. So in case of third question, just see we have this as a beta carbon 1 and this is as a beta carbon Two. So we will have respective hydrogens on these positions. If the hydrogen will get removed from beta 1 position, beta 1 position is less alkylated and the alkene form will be like this. Okay, and when the hydrogen removes from the less alkylated carbon, the product is called as Hoffman product. So this is the Hoffman product which will be in the minor quantities. Whereas in the other case, if the hydrogen removal will happen from the beta 2 position, the product form will be this and this will be the sage of product will be in the major quantities. Okay, now come to the fourth one. Now here we have this as a beta position and this is a beta position. Both are symmetric and so it doesn't matter from where the hydrogen will get removed. The molecule form will be like this. Okay, so we will be having a cis and trans isomer for this. Cis plus trans. Okay, come to the next one. So this is my bromine, this is my beta carbon. So only one beta position. So hydrogen will get removed from this and we will get only one product like this. Okay, now come to the next one. Again, the chlorine is present over here. I have a beta position here, a beta 1. This is beta 2 and this is beta 3. So when we talk about beta 1 and beta 2, beta 1 is equal to beta 2. So it really doesn't matter from where the hydrogen gets removed. And the other uh, uneven position is beta 3. So we can have two possibilities, either the removal of the hydrogen from beta 3 and other possibilities removal of hydrogen from beta 1 or 2. So the two type of products will be formed. One will be this. Okay, this is when the hydrogen removal has happened from beta 3. And this is the more alkylated position. So this will be my sage of product. And this will be in the major quantities. Plus, in the other case, if the removal will happen from beta 1 or beta 2, hydrogen removal will happen from either beta 1 or beta 2. These are less alkylated carbons and hence the product form will be like this. And this will be our Hoffman product which will be in the minor quantities. Okay. Now, come to the seventh one. Now, in case of seventh one, how will it look like? In case of seventh one, I have a bromine over here and this is my uh, this is my beta carbon but do we have any hydrogen in this beta position we don't have any beta hydrogen so we require beta hydrogen to do the uh, e2 elimination reaction unless we have that hydrogen the elimination reaction cannot take place hence no reaction will take place over here okay come to the next one so now this is my alpha carbon this is my beta 1 and this is my beta 2 Again, the very similar situation like the previous ones where we can have two type of products. One is Sagev, another is Hoffman. Sagev will be major and Hoffman will be minor. So if the removal happens from beta 2, which is more alkylated carbon, if the removal of hydrogen happens from beta 2, which is more alkylated carbon, the product will be Sagev product and the compound will look like this. This is my Sagev product, which is major and the removal when happen from beta 1, uh, the product form will be the Hoffman product and that will be in minor quantity. So the product will be CH2 double bond C, H, CH, CH3 and CH3 and this is my Hoffman product which is minor. Okay, come to the ninth, ninth one, yeah. So now this is my alpha carbon, so this is my beta 1. And this is my beta 2 and this is beta 3. Again, very similar situation to this where beta 1 and beta 2 uh, were same. Similarly here, beta 3 and beta 2 
are same. So it won't matter from where we are removing the hydrogen. Whereas the beta 1 is a different position. So we have two possible answers. One is one is this. Okay. Here the removal of hydrogen has happened from the less alkylated carbon. Hence it is an Hoffman product. Minor. Plus. If the removal happens from beta 1 which is more alkylated one. The product will look like this. This is sage of product and will be in the minor quantities. Right. Come to the tenth one. This is my alpha carbon and this is my beta carbon. Okay. So only one possibility of removal of hydrogen. This is this beta and hence the product form will be like this. Right. Come to the eleventh one. Now this is my alpha carbon, this is beta 1 and this is beta 2. Again we have already discussed more alkylated the carbon is, uh, we will be removing hydrogen from there and it will form the better stable alkene due to more hyperconjugating structure. So which one seems to be more alkylated, beta 1 or beta 2? So this beta 2 is more alkylated, will, hence will give you more stable product and that product will be called a sage of product. So the product will look like this, this is our sage of product and this is major. Whereas when the removal will happen from beta 1, it will give you comparatively less stable product and hence will look like this. My bad, I had put a, a, a bond over here, that's not, there is no bond over here, instead it is here. Okay, so you can just change. So similar way here, you will form a double bond over here and there will be uh, a CH3 over here. This is my Hoffman product and this will be in the minor quantities. Now I'll write down few more questions, note them down, solve them and I'll directly discuss the answers of those. Now let's discuss the solution for these questions. Uh, now look at the 12th question, we already have a molecule in the form of alkene and now we want to do the uh, dehydrohalogenation over here that is E2 elimination. So we have two, we have taken two reagents over here one is alcoholic KOH and one is NaNH2. So can we do any further elimination over it? Yes we can because we have a hydrogen on the beta carbon and on the alpha carbon we still have a chlorine over here uh, and uh, the elimination can uh, definitely take place over here but we require a very strong uh, uh, base over here. So when we compare alcoholic KOH and NaNH2 these out of these two this is much stronger base and hence the reaction that means elimination does not take place in the presence of alcoholic KOH or alcoholic NaOH. So reaction will not proceed in this case but will definitely proceed in the case of NaNH2 and NH3 and hence the chlorine from here and hydrogen from this beta position will be removed forming an alkyne. Okay and this is very very important reaction. Okay, so be, because this is a very strong base, it can do the elimination which cannot be done through the alcoholic KOH or alcoholic NOH which are comparatively weaker bases. Now come to the third, 13th one. Now in this case we have done the same question before uh, with alcoholic KOH and we, had, we have already seen that the, there are two products possible. One is sage of product, one is Hoffman product where sage of is major and Hoffman is minor in case of alcoholic KOH. So I'll just write down those answers directly uh, because we have just now discussed those. So CH2 double bond CH, uh, CH, CH3, CH3. This is my Hoffman and minor whereas other uh, possible product is CH double bond C, CH3, CH3, this is my uh, sage F and this is major. Now will there be any change if I am using this reagent instead of alcoholic KOH? Just look at the, just look at the uh, uh, base what we have taken. This is third butoxide which is a big bulky base which is a very strong base but it is so bulky that it cannot approach the beta carbon to uh, the inner beta carbon to remove the hydrogen. So it will look out for the easiest beta carbon from where it can remove the hydrogen and one which is the least hindered carbon. Okay, so here rather than taking out the hydrogen from uh, uh, more uh, branched carbon or more alkylated carbon, this base will try to remove the hydrogen from less alkylated carbon or less crowded carbon 
so that it can easily remove it and can avoid as much repulsions as possible so i have again so the products will be same but now uh, now what will be the difference in the previous case your hoffman product was minor whereas sage was major so in this case it will be opposite scenario now hoffman product will be major and sage zip will be minor because for this big bulky base reaching here will be very difficult because it is too sterically hindered and will face repulsions due to its own uh, uh, its own bulky nature so it will rather prefer removing hydrogen from here this is beta 1 let's say and this is beta 2 so it will prefer removing hydrogen from beta 1 rather than removing from beta 2 now come to the 14th one very similar question again the same question we have solved before only difference will come in the in the in the, in the product which one is major and which one is minor so two products possible over here also one is this and another is this where this one is sage f product and this is a, this uh, this one is hoffman product but now because this is a big bulky base over here we will have sage f is minor and Hoffman as major. So I hope you would have got an idea how to solve the questions, get the answers and which one, which product will be major in this, in the given circumstances. So you have to check very carefully which kind of base you have and accordingly mark the answer as major and minor. So now um, how stereochemically or how the stereo science is going to be different if there is a little difference in the molecule uh, stereochemistry that we have to understand.